January 26th, uh, my old pal uh, Edwin Wirkula here. Are you visiting? <laughs> yeah, Haven't you even pronounced it right. You accent on the first syllable. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, uh, standing I'm by the uh, drawing in progress. Which I'm amazed by. Huh, it's been it's been it's been in progress since 1992. Not this drawing, the Not series. The, the series the I began series. in late '91. Oh yeah, what this drawing I began on December 25th. Yeah. Christmas Day. Yeah. Right. This last year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you swing around to the original photograph, or will that uh, of this gentleman who seems to be? Is this Poland? It's actually right up here. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. A town uh, called O L K U S Z, which I assume is pronounced Olkusz. By the way, is that recording voices also? It is, yeah. Oh, trapped. <laughs> well, it's just an amazing picture, an amazing event. It shows amazing courage, I hmm. would say, since I believe, it, I believe that you believe that he's about to be gunned down and mm -hmm. that those people may already have been. Yeah, those those like seem to me. be a co cobblestones in a square or a, or a street. Mm -hmm. That's just, that's just beyond words. What about the drawing? Oh yeah, I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's. Uh, I didn't associate it when I saw that. I did, I saw the colors as uh, at, uh, in the, in a cheerful way at first. I didn't mm -hmm. see the. I saw it as a praise. Actually, the, the a lot of the imagery and the color areas I'm taking from two different books. One is uh, called wooden synagogues. There were synagogues that were in Poland, Lithuania, that were burned to the ground by the Wehrmacht and SS. Uh, they were almost all entirely destroyed, sometimes with Jews locked inside of them when they burned them. And from a book called Time of Stones, which is a Polish-Jewish gravestones. So all the photographs are black and white, but I'm kind of reinterpreting them, abstracting them, and adding color. Well, how did you execute this? Is this a print blown up? No, no, no. It's... This is, is I drew this from this. So this is pen and ink? That's pen and ink, yeah. So I did an outline of the man's arms, hands, and head in pencil, along with the prayer shawl, talus, or talit in Hebrew, and then uh, and then I <coughs> I did the head first, because I wanted to draw the... I, I, it would be critical to see, make sure the person showed up well in terms of drawing, because if, if I couldn't get his drawing of him in... Uh, well, at the beginning, then I'd have to start all over again. Right. Ken, what are these lines across the photograph? Those look like barbed wire. Yeah, they do. I, at first Which I is also part of the astonishing part of this photograph and its history to me. It looks like he was lying prostrate on the ground, on his back, under barbed wire with his arms raised in the air. Right. Until this moment, I thought they were they represented damage to the original photograph. No. But not they're not. I see, yeah. I see they are barbed wire. Uh -huh. That's interesting you say that, because the friend who visited last night, this uh, retired minister friend, thought that this line here, without having looked at the photograph, was was um, was not barbed wire. He thought it was actually like from based on a crease in the photograph. Well, that's what I thought, too, at, yeah. at first, mm -hmm. until I realized that it was probably barbed wire, and that's why I asked you the question. Yeah. Wow. So. Amazing. Anything else uh, you want to say before I turn this uh, off here? No, I, 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 I don't have anything else to you say. You want to like wave what, to your family I, or what, anything? <laughs> what can I say? Huh. About what this guy is saying. Hmm. Thanks, Ed. Yeah. Thank you.